Good morning from here in my office. Uh, the purpose of this video is to share with you some of the stuff that would have typically been shared at the faculty meeting at the beginning of the year. We still will have that faculty meeting. However, some of the bullet point information handbook stuff is going to be shared through this video so you can go back and reference this later and come with questions to some of these uh, additions, changes, and reminders rather than have it simply being an announcement and it also may save us some time at that faculty meeting so you can get more time to work in your classroom. I know that's really valuable those first two days. So so uh, out of respect for your time, uh, here's a few minutes of information on the handbook and procedures for the high school this year. Uh, first off, our handbook is a bit of a work in progress. We have two different documents that you'll be taking a look at. One is the school-wide handbook and that will go to all employees and those are some HR procedures and things like that that come from the business office. Then each of the principals also are putting together our own procedures document and have certainly had some help with that uh, and collaborated on that but that will be in the form of a Google document that you'll also have access to to look into some of these uh, changes and policies even a little bit further. So. Here are some of the changes and reminders for this year that we would have gone over in the faculty meeting. Instead, I'll just do a brief check for understanding at some point during that meeting uh, to make sure we're all on the same page and to see if there's uh, some things that um, need to be re, uh, re-communicated. So one is this book. This is something that we are going to read as a faculty together through our devotions. So similarly to how we did a few books last year, this book Strong and Weak is something that I've read over the summer. I referenced it in an earlier blog post. Please pick up one of those from me in my office and there's a, a yellow sheet that you can just sign when you pick those up. Right on the table when you walk in uh, you'll see those books and please feel free to pick one up at your convenience. All right, second thing that I want to communicate to you is our professional growth plan is going to look a little bit different. Uh, if you're someone who has taken classes regularly and stayed up with your continuing education, there really won't be much change for you. However, we're going to define professional growth and career advancement as two separate things, and you're going to hear more about that from either me or Len Fakima on Tuesday and so you'll learn more about that but be ready for that professional growth and career advancement are two terms we're going to be using and that'll just be how we're all continuing to learn uh, as a staff and um, some some different policy and requirements with that also dress code I know has been a big topic of discussion and one of the recommendations from that dress code last year was to look at what shorts we allow and uh, as I went back in those those uh, meeting minutes uh, it was recommended at the end that we would refer those changes for the shorts until the end of this school year. I wouldn't give families enough time to change their buying habits from Dennis. Uh, however, we do have the following dress code changes is we are going to allow boys to have well-groomed facial hair. We are also going to allow one single stud earring in each ear for boys and we will allow girls to have one nose ring, so in, in one nostril. So those are some of the changes. I wanted you to be aware of that and those also were some of the things that came out of those meetings and further discussions with, with staff. So any questions about that, feel free to let me know. Report time. This is, has not changed, but reminder to our new people, uh, 7.30 is our typical time to report, and then 2.25 would be our departure, I'm sorry, 3.25 would be our departure time, and that gives 30 minutes before school, uh, 30 minutes after school. So for most of you, that's just a reminder. Also, Nancy Jansen's door can be opened now with the A or the M key. There was some, uh, I think, frustration that the library was really difficult to get into because there is a copy machine in there. So that can be open now with your A or M key. Uh, Mike Buckley shared that with us. I'm sorry, he made that change for us. Also, keys. A slight change in how we handle keys. Some of you have been handling it this way already, is we do not loan keys to students. And that's a hard and fast rule. We've had some incidents with students in the past where um, they had keys and had copies made, and that's only been a few times, but really uh, we're putting our students in a, in a 
precarious position if we're lending them keys. We're putting a responsibility on them that they, um, I don't think they need to have. And so if you need help with that, uh, please let administration know and we can help facilitate a door that would need to get open for students. But we're not going to lend keys to students under any circumstances. Also, be used to having uh, me and Carlene and David and even at times Rob Benke in your classrooms this year. Uh, those are not all meant as evaluative visits. Uh, you might even find me in your class sometimes this year uh, just being in classrooms and checking emails and getting some work done to be out of the office, to be present, to support you in what you all are doing. Uh, and so uh, be ready for that and uh, I hope that we can be really great resources to our teachers through that. So be ready to have uh, people in your classroom a little bit more. One note on taking attendance. When you're taking attendance this year on RenWeb, please make sure that there is something filled out for each student, whether that's A for absent, T for tardy, or P for present. When we leave those spaces blank, uh, sometimes just the students who are absent and tardy get marked and we don't mark present for everybody else. Uh, that causes some confusion for the office. So make sure uh, that you do that. An easy way is to fill them all with P every class period and then just switch the ones that you need to with um, an A or a T. New teachers, let me know if you have questions about that. Also, reminder to you, chapels are now on Mondays and Wednesdays. Each of those chapels have about 25 minutes allotted for that. So we are going to do chapel twice a week. So a note to you, the chapel schedule has changed on the attendance. I'm sorry, on the bell schedule sheet. Two more things. One is substitutes. If you need a substitute, please text me. I, my number is in the handbook and I'll make that available to everybody on Monday at our staff meeting. If I forget, remind me. I'll write it on the board or put it up on the screen. Uh, please um, make sure you text me for uh, a sub, preferably the night before. But don't leave a message at school on my voicemail. I'd rather not find out when I get to school that you need a sub. I'd like to know that well ahead of time so I can take care of that right away. Also, in the handbook, uh, so this would be the high school procedures handbook, there's some requirements to have emergency lesson plans. Two days of emergency lesson plans, and some of those uh, requirements are spelled out, but uh, by September 1, I'd like each staff member to have two days of emergency lesson plans. So if you get really, really sick and can't make lesson plans, you have a go-to that is class content related. Um, you know, those don't have to strictly meet the standards that you're teaching. In fact, I would even recommend to go on Teachers Pay Teachers and you could even uh, purchase substitute lesson plans there for your subject. But something that's content related that can be given to a sub in a pinch if you need a sub last minute. So again, have those to Joanne Gammon by September 1. Let me know if there's questions about that. And finally, uh, make sure you're entering all of your tests onto the Google Calendar. I know we started that a couple years ago, and I'll make those procedures uh, a little clearer too uh, before we get to Monday. But we need to be communicating about who's giving a test when and make sure uh, a student doesn't have more than two tests in a day. All right, that's it for now. Please let me know with questions on any of this, and uh, you'll have an opportunity to ask those questions on Monday. Thank you.